YouTube Zookeeper here. So, um, we have a Prius with a coolant control valve fault. Um, this is the coolant control valve, and uh, I don't know if you can see in there very well, but there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Um, there's no dirt or sand or any other debris in there that I can find. Um, it's kind of hard to see inside. I got some of the screws loose. I'm just going to take the last two out here. Um, see what's inside here. I've seen pictures posted. Uh, Prius Chat uh, is one of the premier sites there, and there's quite a few pictures posted there. I'm going to see what's wrong. We had code for this valve not responding. So um, we're going to find out why. Um, there's some gears and a little motor inside. We'll take a look, see what we can find. Discard the screwdriver. Okay. That's what's inside. So we have a drive motor over here. And then we have a, a spur and worm gear. And then another spur gear. This must be the position sensor, so we, it, it might not read position. And there's a uh, black and a pink wire, or black and red, I guess it is pink here, that power this motor down here in the lower corner. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Nope, it won't zoom in this condition, so, okay. Let's apply, I have 12 volts here. Let's apply power to the motor and uh, see if we can get the thing to move without shorting everything out here. Ooh! Well, it just popped it right out. That's what happened. Okay. Try to reverse polarity, then make it go the other way. Okay, it does move. So... Before when I tried this, I didn't hear any movement, but now that I got the thing taken apart, let's take this out. Here's your drive piece. So potentially this could break, these threads could get stripped out. Okay, we got some grease on here. That all seems fine, no stripped out threads, nothing broken. The shaft could break. These pieces on the end could break. We know the motor turns, but that that man, that thing is stiff. Holy buckets! Oh wow! Ah, that thing moves really stiff. Really, really stiff. I mean, it moves, but man, you gotta. There's a lot of force there. Oh wow! I mean, you can. Yeah. So I think what happened was, is that um, over time, it just got degraded enough where it's stiff enough where the motor can't always move it, and that's all it was, and that's what got me my uh, trouble code for the um, motor being stuck, unable to achieve command position. Uh, P1121, zookeeper out.